CEO, Ron Winkler from Creative Universe. We got a bowling ball here, and we're gonna check the surface of this bowling ball. So we're gonna go ahead and scan the bowling ball and see what the surface is real quick. We'll take three scans. And that bowling ball is scanning at 5,500 to 6,000, as you can see. So now we're gonna throw that bowling ball down the lane. We're gonna use clutch bowling inspector to kind of see what the performance is as it goes down the lane. So that wasn't a bad shot there. Left a light 10 pin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of show you how you could adjust the surface of your bowling ball if you wanted to kind of kick that out. Now you can't do this during competition, but you can do it in practice. So we'll go ahead and re-rack here, put the bowling ball back up top. And what we'll do is we're going to change the surface of the bowling ball lightly. So before we do that, we're actually gonna go grab ourselves a true cut pad. And when we grab the true cut pad, we'll talk a little bit about kind of why we're grabbing the pad that we're gonna grab and what it's actually gonna do. Stay tuned. All right, so we got ourselves a true cut sanding pad here. It happens to be the P5000D pad, which will give you a 4000 grit finish by hand. So we're gonna go ahead and alter the surface of the bowling ball. So go ahead, we'll grab the CTD mitt. We will put the sanding pad on it and we will also use some true cut conditioner and adjust the surface of this bowling ball. You're just gonna spray some on the conditioner on the pad, and then you'll begin to sand the bowling ball. You always wanna start by sanding on the sides first, going around the ball. And then you'll, after he goes around the sides twice, he'll go to the top, then go back to the sides, and he'll do that twice, and then he will flip the ball over and do the other side. Now, why are we doing that? What we're really trying to do is we're really trying to get the bowling ball to have a little bit more surface on it so that it'll be a little bit stronger. That for it'll, it'll have a little bit more performance and that'll allow us to be able to kick that nasty uh, flat 10 pin out of there. The key is to try to be as even as possible, making sure that you're going around the sides of the ball twice uh, and then going to the top of the ball after you went around the ball twice. And you want to do it on both sides, right? You do it on the top and the bottom. That way, the bowling ball is going to be as consistent as possible. Now, the reason why we're doing such a high grit of the sanding pad is really what we're trying to do it's not really dull the ball so much. We're more interested in just kind of getting the surface to where it's not so uh, shiny. Because right now, with it being as shiny as it is, that's actually kind of giving us a little bit too long of a reaction, which is kind of impeding the performance. So we'll grab our surface scanner again, and we'll check the surface of the bowling ball. We'll put it on there and we'll push the button that'll allow us to be able to get a reading. We'll push it three different times in three different spots. And that's giving us a 4,000 grit reading now, as you can see. So we'll take that and we'll throw the bowling ball again and show you the performance difference. So a little further right, but even though we got it right, the ball did not come back and carry. So we'll throw it again. You can kind of see that shot was thrown right. And we still left a, a seven pin or 10 pin, which was weak. But at least overall, um, that ball did get back to the pocket. I can tell you for, for sure that if you went through the shiny ball there, it definitely wasn't getting back. So we'll have him throw it again and repeat a good shot. And we'll be able to see the performance difference that the surface change made. That's in. So after the bowling ball surface has been altered, we'll throw a shot and kind of see the performance of the bowling ball now. Much stronger reaction. Gonna give us more performance. You can kind of see that there. That's kind of the difference between those two shots. And that kind of gives you a good idea. I mean, if you look on like the total hook, that we actually have a little bit more total hook. Um, that little bit more total hook is allowing us to be able to get some more carry and a much stronger reaction. So now you got some more information about what to consider 
uh, to be able to change your ball reaction. That's also why it's a good idea to invest in one of those CTD surface scanner V2s because it'll allow you to be able to see what the actual surface is on your bowling ball. With that being said, I'm out of here. CEO, Ronald Hickler from Korean Difference. Talk to you soon.